So we're looking at a, a demo board, right? This is a demo board, and what we're going to do is we're going to continue to uh, set it up with uh, all the various accessories that are available. So people, we can demonstrate exactly what's available for stand-ups. So what we're going to do now, um, next, is we're going to put the uh, aftermarket handles on, which is a popular option. Um, handles are great, uh, both for just basic carrying and lifting of the board, and also some people like to uh, put their kids on the front of the board. Where are you going to put the handles then? So the, what we're going to do today, for our purposes, is we're going to put the handles in the center point to carry the board, to help with carrying this, uh, this large object. Okay. <laughs> so the first thing to do is we want to find the center point, and you can do that very simply. Process of illumination, right about here. So you're just grabbing it and just trying to find where, right. where it balances. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Okay. So it's going to go basically just right pretty much in the thickest part of the deck pad. <laughs> I like your um, professional level. Yeah, this is a very technical <laughs> instrument. Hard to find. You have to special order these. <laughs> <laughs> so we got what we have here is these two, are two inserts um, and then you have the handles right right exactly they're okay. threaded inserts originally developed for kite boarding so they have an industrial adhesive on the backside it's super strong and, and you haven't had any problems with the thing falling off uh, you know if if you have an extra heavy board if the board is really big and you want handles what we do also in addition to the adhesive that comes with the pads is we epoxy the outer area of the pad, which oh, really, okay. really just uh, puts it But today it on. Gonna, you, you, you can epoxy it later then? You can epoxy it later. It's easier if you do it all in one shot when you're oh, okay. initially putting them on. This. The main thing with these pads too is that you want to put them on a, a part of the deck that is flat um, because they're very stiff. They don't bend, so you cannot really put them out on a rail oh. where they might come off. Mm -hmm. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to inset them right into the deck pad. Okay. And we're just going to cut out the deck pad here and then insert them. Okay. Okay. You're just putting tape to mark it? Yeah. Okay, and we're going to make sure we get these square with our... Uh, Where did you put the center of balance? Was the center of balance in the middle of these two things? or Right. Huh? Okay. Yep. Basically, you want to have the center of balance right in the middle. Okay. And your handles are going to go in here. They're going about seven and a half, eight inches apart. Okay. Thing like that. Another option you can do with well, these the cool pads. thing is that because the the handle is flexible, you can be off a little bit and yeah, still work. Sure, sure. But the ideal the ideal um, width is going to be is to give it how much play on the handle. Basically, you you don't want the handle flapping around a lot. Uh -huh. You don't want your your feet getting caught underneath it. You want just enough room so you can get your hand underneath comfortably. Okay. Another option with this is that you can either set the handles in one spot. Mm -hmm. Or you can move one pad slightly forward so you have a little slight adjustability oh, okay. in how the handle is centered. Because there's two um, holes. Right. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to center it. And it's seven and a half inches here to here. That. So from the front, from from this this hole to the far hole, right, seven and a half inches, exactly. The tape just gives me a guideline of how to cut out the pad. Okay. Are you worried about at all if you cut the pad that you're going to cut into the board? Basically, you can cut through most of the way of the pad and then just peel it out without any problem. Uh -huh. Here comes our instrument. Just make sure that these two handles are going to be lined up. Even. Okay. It actually looks pretty spot on right there. Okay. That looks good. As long as it's straight going across. <laughs> right. Yes. Exactly. So, 
seven and a half inches again from one threaded puka all the way to the other on the far side, seven and a half. Okay, there we go. Okay. Okay, so I'm gonna take these off. 